change an F1 micro instance to an E2 micro instance on Google Cloud Platform. Upgrade an instance. Switching from an F1 micro instance to an E2 micro instance on Google Cloud Platform is easy and simple. This is why this video is so short. You can use the same method to upgrade or downgrade the instance on Google Cloud Platform, but you cannot use this method to upgrade or update the hard drive. As you know, in August 2021, Google Cloud Platform introduced the E2 micro instance on Google Cloud Platform as part of their free plan. You will still be able to use the F1 micro instance. The difference between the two is that the F1 micro instance has a 200 megabyte CPU and the E2 has a 250 megabyte CPU. The F1 micro instance has 600 megabytes of RAM and the E2 micro instance has 1000 megabytes of RAM. 1000 megabytes equals 1 gigabyte. Switching from an F1 micro instance to an E2 micro instance on Google Cloud Platform is easy and simple. You use these five steps to upgrade your instance. Step 1. Create a snapshot on Google Cloud Platform. This step is optional, but I strongly suggest you do it. Step 2. You must make sure your external IP address is static or permanent. If your IP address is not static, then after you complete the upgrade or the switch, you will have to go into the DNS records and change the IP address to the new IP address. Step 3. Stop the VM or virtual machine. Remember, that every time you stop the virtual machine, if the IP address is not static or permanent, then the IP address will change. Step 4. Change the F1 micro instance to the E2 micro instance. However, you cannot use this method to upgrade or update the hard drive. Please see my video called How to use a snapshot on Google Cloud Platform to upgrade, downgrade, backup, restore. This video will show you how to upgrade or update all of it. Step 5. Restart the VM or virtual machine and wait 5 to 10 minutes for your website to come back online. Step 1. Create a snapshot. Make sure you are in the project you want to make a copy of. To create a snapshot, go to Compute Engine, then click Snapshot. Go to the top and click Create Snapshot. Give your snapshot any name you want. For Source Disk, click the instance or website you want to create a copy of. For location pick either multi-regional or regional. The free plan is under regional. For select location, US West, US Central, US East 1 is part of the free plan. If you pick anything else you will have to pay. Click create and wait a few minutes for Google to create the snapshot. Snapshot size will tell you the size of your snapshot. As long as you are under a total of 5 GB you can create as many snapshots as you like. To delete a snapshot, click on the snapshot you want to delete. Go to the top and click delete. Step 2. Static IP. If your IP is a static IP then skip this step. You have to make the IP permanent, which is called making the IP a static IP. At the top left side, go to VPC network and go down to external IP addresses. Click ephemeral and then click static. Then give it any name you want. Now, click reserve. The IP associated with your website is now permanent until you decide to delete it. Step 3. Stop the VM or virtual machine. Go to Compute Engine, then click VM Instances. Select the instance you want to change, then click on it to open the VM Instance Detail page. At the top, on the right side, click Stop. This message says that if the instance does not stop in 90 seconds, then when you restart your website, it might not work correctly. I have never had a problem stopping my instance. 
However, this is why you create a snapshot. A snapshot will restore your website to a time before it had any problems. Plus, it is easy and simple to do. If it seems like it is taking a long time, then click the refresh button. The instance has probably stopped, but it just not showing that it has. If you do not feel comfortable stopping your instance, then please see my video called How to use a snapshot on Google Cloud Platform to upgrade, downgrade, backup, restore. This video will show you how to upgrade or update all of it using a snapshot. Plus, if you use a snapshot to upgrade or update the instance or hard drive, then you do not have to worry about your website not working correctly. Changing the F1 micro instance to the E2 micro instance. The following will allow you to change the F1 micro instance to the E2 micro instance, or upgrade to a more powerful machine, or downgrade to the free plan. Go to Compute Engine, then click VM Instances. Select the instance you want to change, then click on it to open the VM Instance Detail page. Go to the top, on the right side, and click Edit. For Series. The free plan is under N1 for the F1 Micro Instance. The free plan for the E2 micro instance is under E2. All the other series will cost you money. For machine type. The F1 micro or the E2 micro is part of the free plan. If you want to upgrade to a more powerful machine this is where you do it. If you want to downgrade to the free plan this is where you do it. Click allow HTTP and HTTPS. For everything else, you leave it as is. Then at the bottom, for access scopes, make sure Allow Default Access is selected. Now click Save. Step 5. Start the VM or virtual machine. Go to the top and click Start slash Resume. Now you just have to wait 5 to 10 minutes for your website to start back up. This is all it took. You are now done. Please hit like, leave a comment, or subscribe. Thank you.